<clears throat> okay, we're going to do two more solution stoic problems, and we're going to jump right into it. You need to balance this reaction. We've got phosphoric acid being mixed with sodium hydroxide, not uh, potassium hydroxide, like my mistake yesterday. Sorry about that. <laughs> now, again, we've got a phosphate ion, which is three negative. So the sodium and the hydrogens are going to switch. So the sodium is going to come over in the product and hook up with the phosphate. Now, phosphate is three negative. Sodium as an ion is plus one. So we need three sodiums for every phosphate. Now, those three hydrogens don't make some kind of Frankenstein garbage thing like this, H3O. It doesn't work that way. Hydrogen as an ion is plus one. Hydroxide is one negative. So you make water or HOH. Okay. Now we have to balance this reaction. If we look, we've got three hydrogens there, three hydrogens there. That's three hydroxides, three sodiums. So we'll need a three there. Okay. Now I'm just going to get rid of my extra arrows here. So now we have a bounced. Whoop, that wants to come. So you know what? That arrow gets to stay. All right, let's write down what we know and what we need to solve for. Okay, we have 10 mils of phosphoric acid. 10 milliliters of phosphoric acid. Okay, we have 18.2 .2 milliliters of sodium hydroxide, and the concentration is 0.259 moles per liter, and that's moles sodium hydroxide per liter sodium hydroxide. And we have need the chemical, the amount concentration or moles per liter of the phosphoric acids. Question mark moles per liter. That's what we're solving for. The other thing we need is the mole ratio, and the mole ratio between these two compounds is three sodium for every one mole phosphoric acid. Okay. Now, all righty. So let's expand this and start with what we need on top. If you remember yesterday, these we're solving for concentration, so we can use kind of a cool pattern, mole ratio. So let's start with the mole ratio <clears throat> with the mole of the substance we need on top. So we need to flip that. One mole phosphoric acid over three mole sodium hydroxide. Okay, perfect, gone. Now we have to get rid of mole sodium hydroxide, so let's use the concentration, just like the pattern. Mole ratio, and then concentration. Awesome sauce, gone, gone. Now we can use the concentration on top of the sodium hydroxide, 18.2 milliliters sodium hydroxide. And because the question needs liters on the bottom of phosphoric acid, I'm going to go 10 milliliters of phosphoric acid on the bottom. Liters cancel and the millis cancel. Booyah! And we're done. So you can see it goes mole ratio, concentration, volumes. Super simple pattern to remember. 0.259 times 18.2 and then divided by 10 times 3. I get two 3 sig figs, 0.157 mouths per liter. All right, pretty good. One more practice question. This one says, what volume of 0.125 milliliter sodium hydroxide is required to completely react, to react completely with 15 milliliters of 0.2 0.1 mole liter. Okay, this is kind of ghibli to see here. So let's just move this. Oh God, not this. Go away, smart. Okay, you guys can read this. All right, blah, blah, blah. Write the reaction. All right, we got sodium hydroxide reacting with aluminium sulfate. Oh, hey, this is not a neutralization. Um, well, it maybe is, but it's, it's not a classic neutralization because we're not going to make water. So the aluminums and the sodium switch place. So we get ALOH3, that's low solubility, and sodium sulfate, and that's high solubility. 
So sulfates two negative, sodiums plus one. Are we going to balance this? Looks like oh, it looks like we have a weird odd odd number system going on here. We like we can't put a if we put a two here. That's not going to work. Um, my get my by the looks of it, we're probably going to have to. Uh, if I if I look over here, we're probably going to have to double this, and then that now gives me six hydroxides. So if I put a six there, that now gives me six hydroxides and six sodiums, but a three there now gives me the right number of sodiums and three sulfates. Okay, let's write down what we know. <clears throat> what volume, oh, okay, this is interesting. We're not doing concentration. Volume, solving for volume of sodium hydroxide and its concentration of 0.125 mole sodium hydroxide per liter sodium hydroxide, okay, <clears throat> of 15 milliliters. Uh, this thing, Al2SO43, and it gives us our concentration, 0.1 mole per liter. Yes, this is a pain to write this out. I get it. It's not too bad, though. Okay, and we need the mole ratio. Six moles of sodium hydroxide for every one mole of Al2SO4. Okay, we got all everything we need. Now, this is not a concentration problem, so we can't use that nifty shortcut. We're solving for volume of sodium hydroxide. So we got to start with the volume of sodium hydroxide on top. Starting with the volume of sodium hydroxide on top, the only thing that has it is the concentration of sodium hydroxide. So we've got to flip that. Liter sodium hydroxide on top over 0.125 mole per... Oh, no. My bad. Mole... Sodium hydroxide. Okay, concentration we used up. It's gone. Now we got to use mole sodium hydroxide. Let's use the mole ratio. Six mole sodium hydroxide over one mole aluminium sulfate. Okay, concentration probably we'll use next to get rid of moles of aluminium sulfate. Okay, and moles cancel. Now we got to get rid of liters, aluminium sulfate, and okay, we, we got milliliters. That works. This is going to be kind of interesting. We'll see what happens with that. Okay, kind of run out of room here. You guys get it. Okay, so liters cancel, and look what's left. This is kind of cool. We're left with a milliliter. Totally fine. Totally cool. Milliliters fine. It didn't ask for liters. No liters are totally fine. Okay, let's multiply it out. Multiply out what we know. 6 times 0 0.1 times 15. Okay, divided by 0.125. Well, that's it. Okay, I get 72 milliliters. Well, we probably need three sig figs. 72.0 milliliters. Okay, now if milliliters may give you the heebie jeebies, you could have converted this to liters and you would just get liters instead. Both are acceptable answers, though be careful. Watch what the question wants you to do. Okay, This concludes the three main points of stoichiometry, and that, that assignment should be due this week. Today's the last day you're going to be working on it. You'll give give be given time. We're starting new stuff tomorrow. Okay, Make sure you pop into Google Meets or email us for questions you might have.